Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the AMS2 Pro and everything that makes it great. The AMS2 Pro has four slots for four filaments and it can switch between the filaments like any other filament management system out there. Pretty normal, right? But the AMS2 Pro has something different that it can dry all the filaments at the same time. That's pretty crazy compared to traditional dryers, but there's actually a catch. You cannot be printing directly from the AMS while drying. The good news is that you can still print on an external spool while the AMS is drying some other filaments. Now, let's talk about the price. As of today, the AMS2 Pro is priced at $299 compared to the basic AMS that is at $269. On the surface, $30 extra feels like a seal for the drying capabilities. But here is where it gets tricky. The AMS2 Pro doesn't actually come with the power supplies required to use the drying options. You will have to buy an AMS2 Pro switching adapter, that's the name for the power supplies, that costs an extra $33. By the time you add that, plus taxes and shipping, the cost goes up to $414. Honestly though, for around $80 more, a 4 filament dryer is still a decent deal. I just wish Bamboo would be more upfront about needing the adapter, or better yet, just bundle it together. I didn't see someone buying these AMS2 Pro and not using the drying capabilities. That's kind of the reason why you buy the AMS2 Pro compared to the AMS Basic. The way I use the filament dryer for is usually the TPU. I have some TPU filaments that I bought a couple months ago. I have been using them a lot since. That's why you can see all my other projects using TPU filaments. So before you set up a drying session, you need to store the filament in the AMS dryer without being connected to the AMS. This is because the filament dryer will be spinning the spools to dry it evenly across all of the sides. To set a drying session is really easy. You just go to the settings of your printer, go to the part where it says AMS, and right there it's going to tell you if the AMS is available or in a drying session. And when you click there you can see all the type of filaments, presets that it has. I usually put it in TPU and set it for 24 hours. And after those 24 hours that are done, I have seen down to 3% humidity, but usually it's around 6%. After that, I just store the filaments in Ziploc bags, and I know many of you are going to say that I should get the cereal boxes to, to get the filaments in a better shape, but for me, Ziploc bags have worked perfectly, and honestly, I just don't have the motivation to set up all the cereal boxes. I actually bought some humidity sensors to do something like that, but never got the chance to use them. Talking about sensors, these sensors I bought, I put them on the AMS, just to see from the outside what the humidity is. And I have found some discrepancies between the Amazon sensors and what that loose is. It could be because of the placement of the sensors, or simply because the sensors have log quality. Either way, I trust the AMS2 Pro a lot more than those cheap Amazon sensors. One of the downsides of the AMS2 Pro that I hope Bamboo Lab hears and is able to change is that you cannot source sessions from your computer on the AMS2 Pro. Everything has to be from the printer. You can monitor things like humidity and temperature at the time remaining, but you cannot start or stop any drying session. That would make the whole process easier for me, being that I have a P1P and the screen is very small. But I don't know, let me know in the comments if you are experiencing the same issues. One of the things that is amazing about the AMS that I have realized since I bought it, the AMS2 Pro can maintain itself dry from weeks. I have left it for about two weeks without any use or any drying, and it has stayed with the same humidity the whole way, around 6%. One of the things I did to help this is I printed some discant boxes where I put discant to make it so the humidity is absorbed by these discant. At the beginning I microwave it to dry it out but I haven't microwaved it since and everything is working great. For the filament changing feature, it has worked great for me with no issues since I bought it and I'm really happy with the product I got. 
So that's my experience with AMS2 Pro. If you have any questions that I have an answer on this video, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer to the best of my knowledge. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to help my channel get monetized, please go to my channel page and if you see any videos I uploaded you like, make sure to see them and leave a like. I'm trying to get the 4000 watch hours required to get your channel monetized and with your help I'm sure we can do it.